Hey guys, and welcome to this week's installment of Things You Definitely Don't Need to Know to Play Fantasy Football This Week. Brought to you by the Hail Yeah Marys. Okay, first up, Joseph Randall. Ooh. The handcuff for DeMarco Murray on the Ugh. Dallas Cowboys was in handcuffs this week because he allegedly stole underwear and a tester bottle of Gucci Guilty Black Cologne. So, like, the tester bottle. Not even the full box that's wrapped. The tester. The te like, there may have been, like, a quarter of the cologne left in the bottle when he allegedly tried to steal it. Well, when the security guard, according to the police report, when the security guard stopped him, he said, All right, y'all got me. And his big defense was <laughs> he didn't pay for it because he didn't want to take the time to do it. I mean, when you're in the NFL, it's like, go, 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 quick, 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 rep, rep, rep. Like, you don't have time to wait in line and buy used cologne and underwear. The underwear was brand new. Well, hopefully. I, I would hope so. Yeah, anyway. You never know. Anyways, segueing off into Ryan Tannehill of the uh, yeah. Miami Dolphins. His wife got caught. She left an AR-15 rifle in a rental car. Left it? Just just, just left, left it. it in the back of the rental car. Um, I don't, personally, when I leave the house, I go through a checklist. I go, keys, wallet, phone. But I think she needs to go, keys, wallet, phone, AR-15 rifle. I mean, I leave stuff all the time. Mm -hmm. Like, last night, I lost an earring, my phone, a, my sweater. But that's because you were, gloss. you were drunk. Well, that's true. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Anyways, the, the sheriff's office apparently said that this is certainly the kind of item you don't want to forget anywhere, but forgetting isn't a crime, so we'll give her a pass on this one. Anyway, the last thing I want to talk about is Kaepernick. I don't know if you remember a few weeks back, he got fined for allegedly saying the N-word on the field. Now, Kaepernick has strongly denied that he said it, and he appealed his $10,000 fine, and today the ruling came back that there was no physical evidence he actually said it. But they were just cutting his fine in half. If there's no physical evidence that someone actually said something, then why are you fining them? Then there should really be no fine. You do the crime, you do the time. There was no crime, there should be no time. Great logic. Thank I you. I get it. And Thank this is you. not because I'm a Kaepernick fan and he, mm -hmm. his ESPN Ooh. body issue uh, spread was the back of my computer last season. That's exactly why I'm defending him. <laughs> Anyway, um, so check out the blog, check out the Twitter. We'll see you next week. Hope you enjoyed this week's segment of things you definitely don't need to know to, to play, play fantasy, fantasy football. football.